The autism spectrum disorder, commonly known as autism, is a neurological and developmental disorder. It affects how people interact with others, communicate, learn, and even behave. Now, according to the WHO, about one in a hundred children have autism. Technology, however, is providing some hope to the parents. Scientists are suggesting baby dancing could actually help the doctors spot early signs of autism. The scientists at UK's University of Sussex have found that diagnosing neurodivergent conditions like autism could be done earlier by studying as to how babies move. The using motion detection and AI to analyze babies' movements, named the Baby Grow, the study compares actions like wriggling, sitting and crawling with babies' social and communication skills over the first 18 months to assess whether a child has autism. The study aims to analyze baby movements from video footage and motion in sensors embedded embedded in an intelligent onesie, which participating babies wear understand that recognizing the signs of autism not only provides the child with the treatment that they need, but it also helps families determine the next best steps. The objective of this project is to understand how babies move, um, understand patterns of how babies move uh, when they're very young and how this could be a potential marker for neurodiverse conditions like autism. And so what we're doing here is using techniques from computer vision, which is uh, uh, an application of machine learning to images and video data in order to ascertain the position of their limbs over time and look at the patterns of how they're moving around. The scientists are hoping to enroll over a hundred infants for the project allowing them to collect movement samples every week. The scientists believe that monitoring babies during this crucial developmental phase can indicate their future life. This kind of research is the way forward for us to determine children who might be at risk of autism earlier than we currently do. And I think it's our best hope of also starting to think about the development of motor interventions um, earlier so that we're not waiting until these children actually develop social and communication deficits before we start treating them. The data is expected to improve understanding of early signs of neurodivergence. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.